<laughs> so where are we heading, Ben? We are headed to Skia. It is a lovely chain of destiny. Uh, and it's this nice like sukiyaki place. Um, the, the meat is really, really tender, really flavorful, and you can customize it in a lot of different ways. The Japanese countryside. I know there's a lot of countryside lovers out there, so here is your opportunity while I still live in the countryside. Some shots. Got the mountains. That is one of the nice things on this island here, is that this island has a combination of the mountains and the ocean. This is Ben's special recommendation, this place, right yeah. here. Join the Ski Olympics. We're in Somoto, he's a local, I'm trusting a local. So, <laughs> let's see, look at this. This is, uh, there's many sushi restaurants that have a nice little screen like this, but uh, here we're, we are in a, a uh, what, a gyudon and curry and uh, skiaki, so, you know, Ben has a special recommendation. He likes the gyudon with this right here, this cheese gyudon. That's how you know he's a real American. Oh. Cheese on everything. I, I was recommended it by a Japanese person, so. I'm surprised he's never been to my home state, Wisconsin. It's the cheese capital of the world. I think I've only ever like driven to it, or like driven mm -hmm. through it, maybe. Oh really, you've driven through Wisconsin. I don't know if I have. I'm already devouring. Itadakimasu, here we go. Look at this, cheese gyudon. First time I've ever seen that. And you can make it nice and spicy if you want with Tabasco and chili powder. We got the local here at work mashing his gyudon away. Mixed my chili powder in, let's give this a try here. Is that not so good? It's insane. Holy fuck, like, it's this like is delicious. <laughs> this is, a, it is, this was so it's cheap like too. <laughs> this was so cheap. This is one of the tastiest things I've had here. And it's so nice to taste something spicy again too, for that matter. It's, it's hard to find spicy things here, but. God damn, that is tasty. This <laughs> is so good. Yeah, I love, I love skim. All right. So this kind of mall we are walking through right now, this is called a Shotengai. And you see these all over Japan. And the thing is, when you walk through a place like this in a big city like Tokyo or Kobe or Osaka, I mean, these are really lively, bustling places filled with people everywhere. Very but crowded. very, very crowded. And the thing is, Japan has a big problem with an aging and shrinking population. Now, in a place like Tokyo, the people living there, it's uh, probably a very far removed problem from them that they never even think about or concern themselves with. But here, in a place like this rural island, Awajishima, you can really feel the effects of it. Now, this is actually the most alive I've ever seen this particular Shoten guy here, we got some little Christmas decorations, but uh, this used to be a very different place decades past um, when there were more people living on this island, more money. before the, the Eon Mall opened up and probably took a lot of business away from here. So it's kind of a, a remnant of a, a distant past, and actually the further we walk down this particular Shoten guy, the sadder actually it, uh, it gets. That's just a taste of tonight, of the performance. Natural beatboxer, this guy is performing. This, he is an extremely talented singer, by the way, and he is gonna be singing tonight, and I'm attending his performance, and I could not be more looking forward to it and excited to see it. Stop, don't get excited. All the pressure, oh no, get excited. Get excited. I'm coming for you. Look at me. You heard it from the man himself. There's a nice little print, shh, oh, we pass it, like, eternally, eternity ago. Now see, where we're walking right here, now you can tell things are looking, things are looking a lot sadder here. Look at how old this is. What year could this have been? 
what year could this have been built? Honestly, man, this like, goes back yeah. many, many like, decades here. Like maybe even like this may have been a house before this. Shit yeah, existed. look at the the roof, everything. That's got to be like a hundred years old, right? Shit, man, it looks old. That's for sure. I, you know what I think they did? I think this was the main street, and then they may have retrofitted it. Yeah, I mean, if we look at this, that's an interesting theory. I mean, it could have been. these are all so different. There's it a lot like of a traditional main... tiles here. I mean, why would they have built that What's the originally oldest? just to cover it up? I mean, I wonder, huh? Look at this house right here. Yeah, a little fruit market, I think. But I mean, this is. This part we're walking in right here, this is looking really dead, man. I mean, this is sad to see. あ、そうですか。あの、橋ができてね。あ、it's gotta be, this is gotta be. So I'm used to these Shoten guys in, in big cities. And the first time I discovered this, I was really excited. Oh wow, there's a Shoten guy in this little city, Sumoto here. And it really shocked me when I saw how dead it was and made me think this is a really vivid visual example of this problem many people don't even think about, the shrinking aging population here in Japan and seeing all these boarded up abandoned buildings it uh, it just makes you imagine this was a very different uh, time decades ago where perhaps there were many hard-working husbands working in shops uh, supporting their families couples buying gifts for each other children deciding to come and uh, have fun after school here but uh, in little old Sumoto, not really any of that anymore. Just boarded up, forgotten, sad, but uh, I'll be rooting for Awaji's revival. Hopefully things can change, but uh, it's hard to imagine things going back to the way they were. That's one thing definite in life, change. The one thing we can try to fight it, but we can't stop it. Things will always change. The ultra predator is time. <laughs> the ultra predator is time. <laughs> Indeed. This is a photo of this same Shoten guy right here decades ago, filled with people from probably 40 years ago. Very, very different than what we're seeing right now. And here at the uh, end of the Shoten guy, we see this picturesque. Uh, Little view like this. What do you think, Ben? It looks uh, straight out of an anime or something. Right. Little Japanese city. Quite beautiful here. Breathtaking. You can just see the reflection on the water, and it's like you can tell that there's still so much beauty on this island. Well, that's even something. Though, if even you... though you can see kind of the age is showing. Yeah, a lot of stuff looks really, really old here. But you know, even if uh, you prefer big cities, it's definitely worth experiencing the Japanese countryside, because it really is so, so different. It's like two different worlds, I would say, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, living- Two very different Japans. Yeah, living in the countryside is, it's like being, traveling to a different planet. <laughs> it's <laughs> so different. In both good ways and bad ways. <laughs> right. in many ways. <laughs> So Ben, do you and uh, your wife Megan ever plan on having kids? Because I was just thinking, if you ever did, and they were, it was like <laughs> white kid born in Japan, that would be a flex they could have the rest of their life on their passport and everything. 
You know, I, I think Megan and I, in the place that we're at in our lives, are pretty set on not having kids. Um, sorry to the hypothetical child. Sorry, kid. <laughs> sorry, hypothetical child. We're all hypothetical children. Actually. True, true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, I think we're we're pretty set on not. I think the the dual income life is a lot more attractive Ooh. to us, especially in kind of a shaky world these days. It's, it can be a little intimidating. These you know? guys are gonna be rich. That's the hope, oh my gosh. Crossing oh man, that's that. everyone's hope. <laughs> that's true, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think there's kind of a pressure a lot of the time when you grow up in like a pretty religious family. Um, there's kind of a pressure to just kind of be the next generation and create the next generation. Oh, you grew up super religious. I, yeah, I was I was pretty religious growing up. I was, really? I was very uh, very zealous. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, man, my, 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 and not anymore, huh? You know, I I wouldn't say. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. In definitely not in the same way. Um, mm. Yeah, my my uh, my dad's a pastor, and my mom like leads youth groups. And, really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's so interesting. Get this turn. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's I'd say that's reflected in in some of my songs and especially like the oh. collaborations I've done with a lot of EDM artists. Interesting. I felt, I felt kind of more comfortable expressing the way that I feel about that. Um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, because I think religion can have a, it can have a, a chokehold on some people and I think a lot of people Definitely. my age have felt, uh, have felt really, you know, kind of burdened by that. But mm. um, in other ways, exploring your own belief system is a really important thing to do so feeling feeling able to explore and question slash assume slash question slash assume and then go back and forth and have that that journey i think is a really important thing for young people to be able to do all right here to see here to see ben perform his song in this bar look at this place it's lively it's beautiful i brought the mia mode is here he told me son I just met tonight and uh, this should be pretty amazing Ben are you how King show are you King show means nervous it's gonna be amazing by the way this is Ben's wife Dana, right here check them out on TikTok Hito Bito is the name great videos here in Japan Walking now with my good friends here. So there is, uh, we got Ashtosh, we got Alex, and we got Sukyun. So we're in uh, this town here and there's actually an abandoned school. So we thought we'd uh, give it a little look-see. You better pay for me. No, 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 no,
an abandoned school. And uh, there is yet another abandoned school that uh, our same company bought and uh, decided to completely renovate and replace. There's restaurants in there now. Um, yeah, perhaps it's only a matter of time before this one is bought up and turned into something else as well, but uh, it's kind of, uh, feels like Pripyat or something here. Mr. Alex is uh, telling the world who's boss. Yeah, exploring. <laughs> is that a spaceship? Yeah. It appears to be. Look, there's even a slide there. Steven, if you want to go, oh, go, go inside, I can get you inside. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. I went one side. Like, I know the guy. <laughs> you know the guy yeah, who uh, owns this property? No, no, no. He owns this thing, but he has access to this one. Interesting. So there's photos and things inside of the previous generation. You can... primary school, apparently. Yeah, it seems to be. A school. You can imagine an era where children were running about these fields playing creating memories but uh not anymore in this poor little town we can't open the door because a worm will come out you know, <laughs> cause an earthquake right i don't think uh we have suzume around to save us yeah. if that happens unfortunately yeah, usually, I think uh, in Japan, rural Japan, more and more of these schools are closing down, but uh, it's kind of rare and nice to see a situation like on this island where occasionally these abandoned schools actually are being uh, replaced with uh, a different new usage. So only time will tell the future of this particular building. Hopefully it's something that can happen more across the rest of Japan. Alex is getting a workout in? Yeah, no, it's not worked out in a while. So. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like I might get tetanus or something. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I don't know what this is. It's a mark. See, the thing about Alex, he's a very violent man. And you have to be careful because if you make him angry, he's going to swing a large tire around. Oh, we have a joust, I see. Who's taking bets? Put these down. I stand corrected. Ashtosh is the most violent man here. So a friend of mine told me in the local post office, you can see photos of all of the school class sizes over the years. And it made him kind of sad because the size of students had kept decreasing year after year after year until the current very low number of students. I, I just went to the post office and I tried to find the same photos, but it was months ago he told me, so they weren't there anymore. But uh, rural Japan, this is what it's like. The lone wolf, the violent man, he's like a samurai walking the lonely road. The Did I catch something filthy and dirty happening behind me without realizing? Wipe snot in my face. <laughs> yeah. This is actually a pretty interesting view right here. Yeah. It's really pretty, just so nice. Yeah. The place is nice. I follow the mountain so it's fine. I would like to uh, come back and visit this place after I don't live here anymore. Yeah, yeah I think we could appreciate it. <laughs> right. To visit would be a lot nicer if you're from living here. Well, welcome to my new home. I'll be done making YouTube videos. I'm just going to live in here, a nice peaceful existence, and I'm sheltered from the rain and the uh, snow. How do you feel, Mr. Steven, living in this small... Oh, why, it's quite spacious, it's comfortable, beautiful. Um, what more do I need in life?